This is my life. Fuck this shit. What up YouTuber? My name is Riz Ill and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel and today as I put my skinny legs up uh, <laughs> We're gonna be reacting to another uh, Ren song uh, We're doing Ren's latest song Troubles and this is not a suggestion as usual uh, as per usual uh, this is not uh, something that was scheduled. This is something I came up with on a whim because I realized a little something about my channel mm -hmm. that I've sort of gotten wrapped up in and that's the fact that every time I do a first reaction to someone, let's say Ren or whoever, whatever other artist or band and they have like a strong following of fans, those fans on that first time reaction usually just come in like a wave. just. <laughs> And start like coming in with suggestions and welcomes and yo you should check out this you should check out that and everyone is such a vibe and it's like a whole thing it's like a family reunion and like you're one of the long lost relatives i don't know what the fuck and then you get wrapped up in the suggestions guys and that's basically been what's happening not only with my ren reactions but um a lot of my uh, other uh reactions that are staples you know different bands and, and artists and stuff that are staples of this channel uh so in terms of like right now i'm gonna start a new trend of like not only uh attending to your suggestions in terms of hey where's ill maybe you should check out this you know but i'm also gonna be uh hallmarking or keeping uh in tabs with like the latest releases for me to react to in order to keep keep up to date with these artists so not to fall so far behind uh reacting to some of the past stuff uh, so today we're going to be doing uh ren troubles and hey i'm looking forward to listening to this while this shit goes on outside so without further ado let's get to it music out the eyes Very much for these shards of shattered glass and harsh paper cuts Leave me stuck when I reach in Memories are seeped in Hydrochloric acid I go to war and get passive and freeze up Music help the ice to thaw Put the chisel in the middle Swing the hammer of Thor Pull it out of the impossible This caliber sword Etching notepads full of reasons Why my feelings are sore The first day that I got sick Ejected from the cockpit of living Nineteen young teen waking up big Posters up, manhunt, ran went missing Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen The first year maybe was the hardest Waking in the body that was buried like a carcass Brain in the lion's den, body in the shark pit Waking up in pain again, aching, broken hearted Persistent little bugger, I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor To a doctor like a table tennis game that has no end So be the fate of Ren Every single question answered with a question on the end The second year I came to terms with giving up my dreams Mine was severed from the means to help me write these rhyme schemes Brain was inflamed, the fatigue was crushing Hard to remain sane with your brain combusting And the third year was murder Living in a purgatory for the worry Wouldn't live to be 30 Lifestyle hurt me Always in my bed tomb Rearrange the alphabet and all the letters spell doom Light hurt my eyes, popping pills to survive When you're 23 and mentally you steadily decline 24 I was poor, disability benefits What's the benefit of disability? It's irrelevant 25 and the scars that were etched they crack Elastic bands only stretch so far and then snap Deep in psychosis, hallucinations, troubled vision This is from the underworld but conjuring my superstition 25 living back at home with my mom But not because I'm a bum, alone and physically Done. So thin, so frail, so weak I'd become And my skin so 
pale, never kissed by the sun One time I carved a hole in my chest just to feel I wish that was a metaphor, the struggle was real When you're living in the holocaust you buckle and kneel There's relief in the teeth of the kiss of cold steel Facts, 26 I'm highly medicated and the pain sophisticated While I'm lying broken naked on my back Have all my microphone until my coffin started dropping Raw thoughts with the grim reaper knocking on the track But then man, lo and behold I heard an angel beckon on this treacherous road With a stem cell doctor with a generous glow And the cell transplant pulled me out of the cold And my skin got younger and my body got stronger And my stomach felt hunger for a door that was closed And my soul heard music for the first time Beauty was a word I'd use for this gift of gold Oh Lord I forgive you, Lord I forgive you, Lord I forgive you Make me whole, this music I give you Pain that I live through, everything I've been through is yours to hold interesting uh, song to say the least because not only did it make me uh, sorry make me think of like um, basically Ren's experience in terms of this entire thing but it made me think about like uh, the whole situation holistically in terms of not only the music and entertainment business and how we artists work but just like okay let me let me basically try and get my thoughts together right Ren is an artist he reaches a certain level where he makes it into the industry, the music industry, which honestly is reputed to be the most Machiavellian business in this entire world. And just as he's about to maybe gain momentum, he gets sick. And he finds himself in a situation where it's like, Hollywood spat me out. And when I saw that, and I saw everything that he's trying to explain about his story in the beginning, I find myself thinking about the whole aspect of that entire situation basically and despite me saying okay yes in these like even me like the places i've worked in terms of music the people i've worked with in terms of music my friends we all discuss it all the time no one is really like friends with you in terms of this thing it's sort of not as black and white as that it's not a good and evil thing the music business is essentially what its second name is business if music is its first name, business is its surname, and its family crest and its family legacy, basically. And not everything is as black and white as I got sick and they kicked me out. Bear with me. In terms of this music business, basically, in terms of how I broke it down and in terms of what he's explaining, we artists, we work for a certain period of years. Maybe sometimes someone gets lucky and then like maybe like there'll be like an ice spice or something who said, Oh, I didn't really know I could make it in music, but then I just decided to make music for a year and I was really hot and then suddenly I got famous and now I'm the biggest artist in the world. It doesn't work like that. Most of us we don't luck out and are not born into places like New York or whatever where it's literally the center the center of hip hop and all of that and we just luck out because we have big butts and then we just make it. It doesn't work like that. Most of us make music for a certain period of time and make a lot, like basically make music without making money for a certain period of time before we get to a point where it's lucrative. And a lot of it being lucrative is not even like millions. It's not even like, it's barely sometimes even in the hundreds of thousands. Sometimes it's maybe 50 grand or so here and there. Just trying to get by. 
and that's the fucked up thing about this thing is because it can get as big as like multi millions but there's no benefits like a normal workplace because in terms of like these record labels and people that are behind the scenes that manage this entire thing they manage a bunch of artists and they'll maybe have like a hundred artists under them and they'll be managing them to see who is the next the one and basically they'll be losing so much money putting money into these potentials that they will be losing money just to find one Ariana Grande or whatever that will make them multi-millions and make them recompensate for the money that they've lost on the other people that didn't make it. Not only, not even because they're not talented, but because the market didn't gravitate towards them as it should have, you know? Like Ren, this is a situation where I don't know if he's still indie, he's probably still indie from what I've seen. Maybe he has a small like good distribution deal here and there. Not exactly small, he's pretty big. But in terms of this, like someone like Ren can maybe pull like fans or whatever. You know, you get those one, two or three. But the rest of other the rest of the arts that they invest in, they basically become duds. Some of them make it, but they make it at a very short point and then they fall off very fast. And money is lost. And that's where the business gets ruthless, basically. What I'm trying to explain to people who don't really like, maybe, you, maybe you're just a listener, but you don't understand the music business and how it works. They invest in like hundreds of artists just to find a Drake. And Drake feeds them and helps recompensate them for all the other artists that they didn't, that it never worked out. Like, it, they lost money. <laughs> Gone. And that's when it gets ruthless. That's when the, there's no benefits, there's no unionizing artists, there's no such thing as that because the business is become is losing so much money and becoming so ruthless in terms of this chase for the next one and being in competition with each other that if you get sick like this, you will fall off immediately. They will not fuck with you at all. No one is your friend, bro. That's something that we discuss all the time, like in terms of like my, my best friend also, he's a rapper, etc. We do our thing. No one, will, no one will be there for you. No one is your friend. And that's not necessarily because they're evil or Hollywood is, uh, it's a business. And it's a ruthless business because of the state of how business goes. <sighs> so this guy just found himself in an unlucky situation, honestly speaking. Um... And then he talks about like how like he went through the basic like different stages of like you know feeling lost having to give up your dreams etc because certain things have happened we've all been there i'm not gonna over explain even some of the situations i know my my situation and <sighs> all i gotta say to that is honestly speaking i'm not gonna get that deep or as analytical as i was with the music business all i'm gonna say is i don't know what he's gone through I don't really know what it's like to go through that, uh, but I sympathize. I know things can get dark for people who like maybe like they look at they look at the sky and say, "Where was God when this happened? That happened?" And I think about it all the time, you know, because it's easy to have a whole lot of faith in times of peace. And I think about it all the time. It's like my faith is getting to such a strong level that I think, "What if we had like World War Three right now?" Because I see that a lot. Like a lot of those headlines and news in terms of Ukraine and everything. And I'm like, will my faith be as strong in the middle of war and famine as it would be in these times of peace? So I can't really judge him for asking the questions he's asked. Because even great men in the Bible all asked the same questions when things got tough. Like they really questioned God. So no one can really judge him and say, ah, oh, how can you question God? No, 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 no. You know, and... Uh, I just think all in all guys like I, I'm not gonna really talk about it I don't I have no experience in it that it's a wonderful attempt that he's made not even attempt it's a wonderful thing that he's done for other people that suffer with this it's a wonderful thing that he's done to rally his community around this type of situation and help other human beings because we as human beings need to evolve step by step we need to get better with time in terms of these different things that we go through that a lot of people ignore until they're brought to light and then that's how we get even more better for it so hey ren made it honestly speaking he beat lyme disease he beat everything uh i will say though uh, one of the other things that caught me was like when he was talking about receiving government benefits and like being 
poor and all of that and i was just thinking about like like when you hear these things from first world countries where it's like i was poor i was sleeping in my car and then i think about here in africa if, if this happens to you in africa there's no sleeping in your car you have no car you in the streets there's no government benefits in my country in south africa there's government benefits but there's no government benefits in kenya you just you just poor there's no receiving a check from the government you just you just i there's a community right now up the road that is starving they have no water they have no food they survive on goat's milk and food that comes momentarily so it can get that bad i'm not saying this is not a painful experience but honestly guys whoever's going through this you want my add on um forgive me if i've offended you but count your blessings because you could be here going through what you're going through and god be with us all uh that's been me like comment subscribe hit the post notifications i hope this reaction hasn't been too broken up because of everything that's going on and you have a blessed day guys leave your comments below in terms of what you think of this nigga i'm back in effect back in effect i am the dragon of leg leg you want to side with the feds feds all of my fuck with the 12 spend the whole cut on a jet pull out the uzi and fred i see a whole lot of red red whole lot of fucking regrets slide